All right, so having a men's fashion channel, there's a lot of tips and topics that I would love to talk about that I write down all the time, but it's just not enough content to make a whole video. So today for this video, I took all those tips and topics and made one video and there are 16 of them. So without further ado, we're gonna start with tip number one, which is cargo shorts. They are a thing of the past. I get it though. Maybe your job, which is construction or something like that. Cargo shorts are, are, are good for your job because they are utility shorts and you can put stuff in the pockets. You can wear them for that situation, but anything other than that, those are out of style. You shouldn't even be wearing cargo shorts. You need to upgrade to flat front shorts and they need to be above the knee or at the knee. Style tip number two. Now this one I'm probably gonna get a lot of heat for, but I don't think any guy should wear open toe shoes unless he's at the beach pool or in the shower. Now what really grinds my gears is when guys, usually younger guys, they wear, uh, you know, like the Jordan slides, but they wear white socks with them when they're black. Don't do that. If you're gonna wear black slides, wear black socks. So that way it's seamless and it looks like, you know, one shoe. You don't wanna stand out. Style tip number three. If you're over the age of 23, you shouldn't be wearing clothing with big logos like American Eagle, Abercrombie & Fitch, uh, Hollister, anything like that. That's for the teenagers and that's where it needs to stay. Tip number four, two words, boat shoes. Style tip number five, jeans need to be slim and fitted, not skin tight like jeggings. They also don't need to be big and baggy. Slim and fitted. Style tip number six, belts have holes, you should only be using the middle three. Style tip number seven, speaking of belts, it should never look like this. Style tip number eight, when it comes to jewelry, less is more. Now my opinion, all I wear is a watch typically, but if you're a married man, you can wear a ring. Really, that's all you should be wearing is a watch and a wedding band. Style tip number nine, now I know a lot of guys don't know how to do this, but learn how to iron and do it. If you don't know how to iron, I'm not gonna show you. There's a thousand videos on YouTube. Just check it out on there and you'll get a great tutorial on how to do it. Style tip number 10, <laughs> lint rollers. These are cheap. You should buy a lot of these and just lay them all over the house strategically so you can just grab it and just use it, especially if you have pets. You don't want to walk outside with dog hair all over your clothes. You can even buy them for your car. Lint rollers. Tip number 11. Now this is a big one. Myself, for a long time, would never do this, but use hand cream. Keep your hands moisturized, especially in the winter. Now, one particular brand that I suggest is O'Keefe's Working Hands. This is a lifesaver. Tip number 12 is about socks, dress socks in particular. Now, I've never been a big fan of the fancy, dancy comedy socks like the ones with clowns or pizza slices or things like that. I believe that you need to stay contemporary with them and just wear solid colors or stripes. Patterns are okay and argyle. As far as I would go are socks like this with some paisley on them. Tip number 13, I can't stress this enough, but when it comes to clothes, fit is key. It's better to wear a cheap shirt that fits you perfect than an expensive shirt that is way too big or way too tight. So find a tailor and use it. Tip number 14, learn how to properly wash your clothes. Now, in particular, we're talking about jeans. You don't have to wear these after every wash. Sorry. You don't have to wash your jeans after every wash. Usually for me, it's about three to four wears before I wash them. But when you do, turn them inside out, gentle wash, and tumble dry low. Now, if you're not sure on the rest of your clothes, another quick tip is read the label 
on the garment. Style tip number 15, leather shoes can be worn with jeans. Last but not least, tip number 16, when you're wearing a leather belt, it needs to match the shoes. Now, the shoes don't need to match the belt, but this is in particularly for browns. Brown belt needs to match brown shoes. You can't wear a brown belt with, with uh, black shoes. That looks tacky as hell. If you guys enjoyed this video, I highly encourage you to give it a huge thumbs up and smash that like button. And if you haven't already, definitely subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can always be notified when I put out a, a new video. And as always, thanks for watching.